There's a well-known fact that investment behavior differs a lot across people. Some people invest a lot in the stock market, some people invest very little. And financial economists are very interested in why you find these differences. And it matters because returns to stock market investment have historically been very high. Um, it's also quite well known that there are intergenerational correlations that people whose parents invested in the stock market, they tend to invest in the stock market. But the question once again is, is why do you see this? And the two main types of stories you can tell is, is that it could be nature or genetics, that we get a genetic endowment from our parents. So if they're less risk averse and invest in the stock market, we're less risk invest, averse and we invest. Um, an alternative type of story is that we're influenced by our, by our environment and our parents provide us with, with sort of guidelines, they, they influence our behaviour. Um, and so they're the main types of stories people tell. What we, what we do in this research project is we use a unique um, sample of adoptees where we know who the biological parents are as well as who the adoptive parents are. And the idea is that if your behavior is correlated or related to the behavior of your biological parents, who you probably have never met since you were an infant, that relationship must be genetically driven. But if your behavior is related to that of your adoptive parents, who you have no genetic linkage to, that must be an environmental relationship. And what we find when we do this is that people are influenced by both sets of parents. So there is a genetic linkage, presumably through uh, you know, skills or attitudes towards risk. But there's a bigger relationship between children and their adoptive parents, which must be because of environmental linkages. One thing we see with that relationship is that boys seem to be more influenced by their fathers and girls more influenced by their mothers, which is consistent with some sort of role modeling effect where people are influenced by the parent of the same gender. Um, so in general, what we find is that attitudes towards risk are probably not purely innate and part of our genetic endowment, but they're also things that we develop throughout our life um, and are influenced by our environment and maybe particularly strongly influenced by our parent, by our parents. So if you go back to why different people have very different investment behavior despite looking quite similar, I think a large part of the story comes from our family background and the influences of our parents and our environment when we're growing. We were interested in trying to figure out what were the mechanisms or the, the, cause, the causeways through which the, um, these environmental effects occurred. So is it the case that um, the parents who invest more in stocks end up becoming wealthier and maybe investing more in their children's education and, and, and so their children end up earning more and so on. But those um, pathways didn't seem so important. Um, so our conclusion from this is what is probably most likely happening here is that just children are influenced by their parents' behaviour um, in that they, they observe their parents investing in stocks, they learn about the stock market from their parents if their parents invest in stocks and they use this information themselves when they're making their own financial decisions. In this research I think one thing that we learn from it is that that's not the right way to think of attitudes towards risk. People are influenced by their environments. They're influenced by what happens to them, and by, hap by what happens to their family, and their attitudes can, towards risk can change over time, uh, rather than being something that's just a, a fixed parameter that, um, that belongs to them.